Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome. I'm uh, Dr. Alex Martavitas, uh, CEO of Pausta. Um, we have uh, multiple requests from our customers uh, to create a brief uh, video tour of our sites to show how our Pausta technology is manufactured. And uh, this uh, video explains that. Uh, I would like to thank our teams for producing this uh, video uh, so quickly. Hello and welcome to PowerStar. We are a UK manufacturer of smart energy technologies. Our products include battery energy storage, voltage optimization, and distribution transformers. Today, we are pleased to share a brief tour of our facilities with you. This video will cover our voltage optimization technology, specifically the PowerStar Max solution pictured here. Transformer manufacturing for our PowerStar voltage optimization products starts by buying steel. Often this steel comes from the UK and Europe. This is then cut into components based on the design of what we're trying to achieve. Based on the design of the system, the steel is cut to the right dimensions for the manufacture and assembly of the core of the transformer and is then sent down to our factory in Bromsgrove where the transformer is assembled. At our dedicated transformer department in Bromsgrove, the bespoke transformers are wound, assembled and tested. Here you can see a coil being wound that will be used for one of our low voltage optimization systems and will be combined with the electronics back at our head office in Sheffield. This is a size free PowerStar Max. They work off three phases and each phase has a range of five taps which are controlled by a set of gate driver boards. We buy these boards from a supplier who we helped to design them to ensure they are 100% fit for purpose. The taps mentioned can be set for a certain voltage step up or step down determined by the site's needs and electricity supplies and each tap is individually controlled. At the bottom you can see three normally closed contactors which can open and close to control each individual phase and they work with a corresponding choke to help protect the unit from faults. This is the front of the size free PowerStar Max. Initially all the power comes to your main contactor but if this is faulty, it can be automatically bypassed. This then goes to three more chokes, which act as transformers. All of the components at the back are linked to the main control board, which can be controlled individually and decides what the system should do under certain circumstances. There is an individual power supply to enable the system to operate self-sufficiently if necessary, and it also has protection via fuses throughout. Once the completed transformers are sent from our Bromsgrove site, we assemble the electronics for our PowerStar Max voltage optimization systems at our manufacturing facility and head office in Sheffield. The electronics are what enables the Max systems to be dynamic and they are programmed to meet the specifications of each site to ensure the optimal voltage is delivered to the site at all times. The systems automatically regulate and stabilize the incoming voltage to smooth out any voltage peaks and dips the site may experience. This makes it ideal for sites with a fluctuating incoming voltage profile. The systems you see being assembled here are our PowerStar Max Size 3 systems, 750 kVA. Here we have the test unit and the Size 3 PowerStar Max currently being tested. Initially this is run through an insulation test, electrical safety test and an earthing test. Once completed, we can then connect all these systems together which will run 130 amps through the system for 6 hours to ensure it works effectively and efficiently. This is called a soak test. This is the function test equipment which is used to test each individual tap on the transformer and ensure the PowerStar Max is working correctly. This equipment includes an oscilloscope so we can see all the waveforms during testing to make sure the system is operating as intended. This is a very important quality control stage of the production process and follows strict internal processes. This is a real 1000 kVA low voltage PowerStar Max installation. The site's 11 kV HV transformer is cabled to an incomer and the incomer is cabled into the PowerStar transformer which is then cabled into the LV switch room. Due to the size and space available on this installation the PowerStar Max electronics are installed away from the PowerStar transformer and connected overhead. Typically, the PowerStar transformer and the Max electronics will be installed side by side or within a single unit where possible to do so. 
When verifying the voltage optimization technology uh, through PowerStar, it becomes quite simple. Uh, we can verify the savings online by turning the system on and off anytime uh, well, at the customer's request. Here, for the temp demonstration of this, uh, we've got uh, a switch that uh, currently you can see is in bypass. We can put in savings anytime. We have a three-phase meter here, which uh, we uh, connect to this laptop, which shows all the electrical parameters here. And uh, this explains the main difference between voltage optimization, our patent, our technology, and voltage management, which is reducing the voltage through any step-down transformer, including distribution transformers that maybe your company is familiar with. So a distribution transformer uh, is what we call a double wound transformer. So you have a primary coil and a secondary coil. And the primary coil is connected on the high voltage side and the secondary coil is connected to the low voltage side. So changing the voltage on that is by changing what we call the tapping on the transformer. And let's say that you reduce the voltage by 5%, the result of that is increasing the current by 5%. So there is basically no real benefit in terms of energy using step-down transformers or distribution transformers or voltage management. Of course, there is the benefit of reducing the voltage, but you achieve very little in terms of benefits to your energy consumption, especially with modern energy technology like LED lighting, variable speed drives, or energy efficient motors. Our technology is significantly different. We have three coils. We have the primary coil, as, 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 as any uh, distribution transformer has. We have the secondary coil, which is for the uh, load, but we have what we call a third coil or control winding. That third coil is wound at 180 degrees out of phase from the primary coil and secondary coil. That means that when we apply power to this coil, we provide a signal which is at a reverse polarity to the signal that comes from the grid, i.e. is at 180 degrees out of phase. And we provide the voltage reduction through subtraction. So let's say that we want to reduce the voltage by 20 volts, which is this transformer here, this power star system here, is designed to reduce the voltage by 20 volts. We do not transform 240 volts to 220, which is the voltage in the UK, or if we're talking about the US, we are, we are not going to be transforming 480 to 460. But what we're doing, we are transforming only 20 volts and then subtracting it from the 240 or from the 480. So if, if you can see here, the voltage on phase one, which is the meter, and the voltage on phase two, which is the load, is the same. And you can see the bypass, the system is in bypass position, which means that the voltage optimization is not engaged. So if I turn this on, what you can see here is that we have now reduced the voltage by 20 volts. And you can see there is a reverse polarity signal here, which is about three amps out of 27, which basically is about 10% savings. And that particular benefit is the savings on your bill because you can see the current at the meter is less than the current at the load by the back EMF. And you can see clearly here the actual reverse polarity signal that will generate. And you can see the current at the meter, which is there, and the current at the load are different. And the current at the meter is the current at the load minus the back EMF. And that's how our technology makes the savings. So if I, if I, if I want to verify the savings, I turn it off. And immediately you can see the back EMF disappears. The voltage is the same, the current is the same. I turn the system on, the back EMF appears again, the current at the load is more than the current 
at the meter by the amount of PAC EMF. So the reverse polarity signal, which is the subtraction process that we carry out through our third coil, is the reason why savings are achieved using our technology. So in, in technical terms, we do not change the impedance of the system by doing that, while a standard distribution transformer, you change the impedance and therefore you increase the current. This is the important aspect between our technology and standard distribution transformers. When you first log in to your site's secure remote monitoring platform, you'll automatically land on the homepage. From here, you can see an overview of your asset, including whether it's in savings mode or not, as well as the voltage and current on each phase. The Trends page provides real-time insights for a number of aspects, from the voltage profile to harmonics. Additionally, the time frame can be adjusted and the data can be downloaded to show trends over any period of time for ongoing performance visibility. From the meter page, you can view information including temperature of the asset's cores, current, load voltage, power factor and total harmonic distortion. This allows you to easily detect potential power factor or harmonic issues, enabling further optimizations to be made. The faults page displays a dashboard of lights to indicate any faults the system may experience, which can be diagnosed by the remote support team. The graphs show total harmonic distortion and voltage, and the module between them gives a visual representation of real-time tap changes as the system dynamically adjusts to provide a constant and optimised voltage output. The platform will also alert you to any faults currently being experienced as soon as you log in and land on the homepage, indicated by a red notification circle on the faults tab. As the name suggests, the savings page showcases the cumulative savings that the system has achieved in kilowatt hours, kilowatts and CO2 emissions. This will enable you to continually assess the return on investment of the system and ensure it is achieving the expected results.